Good afternoon, traders. Um, my name is Sithen Gemma from Quick Trade. Uh, welcome to our technical analysis webinar. Uh, I see Luke has sent me a message already. Uh, hi, Luke. Uh, I hope you guys had a great rest of the weekend. And uh, now we're back to work. I uh, see that we have a couple of guys joining us. Some of them are new. Uh, Fidelis, uh, Edith is not so new. Luke, uh, Leanne. Uh, Lawrence and uh, Dirk. Uh, hi guys. <clears throat> hi, hi Edith. Hi Dirk. Long time. Okay. Uh, guys, is there anything that you'd like to share with me before uh, we have a look at anything uh, in the market? Uh, today I just want us to have a look maybe at a um, short-term trading strategy using uh, support and resistance. We are going to be focusing more on the weekly chart using the daily and the hourly to decide whether it's time to go in and buy or not. Okay, I can see that the guys are busy typing some stuff there. I will wait for them to finish typing, then we'll start. Hmm, okay, let me see. Um, Dirk is saying that, yes, when trading, I need to set the trade to a price. Uh, okay, could you please explain that to me? Uh, I mean, Dirk, wh what does that mean? Setting the price to a, setting the trade to a price. Well, I don't know what you're referring to, to there, Edith, if you're saying that I must please confirm my setup regarding chart indicators and oscillators. Uh, well, I mean, you have been following my past um, training sessions. I do not really use a lot of indicators, so uh, I don't look at indicators. I look at um, the simple moving average support and resistance. That's what I look at, basically. So I don't know what you're referring to, basically. Maybe if you could be more explicit on that one also. Uh, Dirk is saying that I don't want to trade immediately. So, are you referring to the limit price, maybe, uh, like in, uh, as opposed to uh, trading? Uh, I mean, at market or I mean, using the market price. Is that what you're referring to, the uh, Dirk? <clears throat> This is what I teach here, Edith. This is what I teach, and this is what I expect you to use. I mean. Uh, there is nothing else. I'm never going to teach you like anything with indicators. Maybe later when you understand the basics, we may go there. Uh, look, guys, um, I see Lucas just uh, sent me a message asking Bollinger Bands, MACD, RSI, uh, Double SD. Those things don't really mean anything. They are a product of uh, the price action so the main thing that you need you guys need to understand you'll understand this maybe a couple of months down the line uh you need to understand uh what the chart is doing you need to understand your price action your support and resistance trend lines and all of that and from there you'll be able to know that these things are not really that much important we'll have a look at them at some point but for me right now i don't think that they're important uh well i mean this is another class look that's the problem this is another class and um i have my own unique style of trading or unique style of um teaching so 
uh, if you can just maybe forget a bit about what the other guys taught you, focus more on what I am showing you so that maybe you can get to understand a little bit better of what is going on in the market size. Yeah, I'm happy with the SMA at 10, uh, Edith. That's it. I'm happy with that. Luke, what's copy copy? What is that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's perfect, Edith. Uh, please change it and uh, stick with the SMA for now. Until you understand the SMA, then maybe you can move on to, to, to other things or to the indicators. Uh, because, I mean, I don't really focus on that. I, I don't teach you indicators. I want to teach you how to read the charts and be able to make meaningful decisions based on what you see in front of you. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I want us to look at uh, at gold. I want to teach you support and resistance using um the gold uh chart. Gold is there. We have gold there. Okay, I will change my time frame from hourly to daily. Okay, guys, this is the gold. Uh, <clears throat> this is the gold chart. Uh, I'm using the weekly. Uh, the uh, the period. It's uh, well. I mean, the period is weekly, and the number of years I chose 15 years. Uh, now let's change it back to our um, our. We use the dotted line. Uh, this area at the top here, where the market um, uh, turns every time uh, it gets there, is our resistance at the top there. We're going to have our line there around 1403. That's our main um, major resistance that we have currently. We'll draw another line here at uh, 1382. That's our resistance also. And we'll have another line around 1369 or 1370. All these areas, uh, sorry, all these areas are our resistance, and this turning point here, this minor one here, I don't know if you guys can see that dot around that dot. That's also our turning point. We're going to use it because we're trying to mark our our resistance here. We're trying to mark our resistance. Uh, the next one, uh, okay, let's do this.
I'm connecting this point here. This is our resistance. This one here also is our resistance. And this area also is our resistance. So this whole zone above where we have all these horizontal lines is our resistance area. Now let's get maybe closer to, <clears throat> to where the action is actually taking place. This area is your uh, is your support. It's at the bottom. It's your support. It's it's around one hundred one thousand three hundred and thirteen. That's where that's what is uh, <clears throat> that's where the price of gold is actually trading. Uh, like right now. And we have another layer of support around uh, one thousand three hundred and three. Around 1,303. Uh, okay. So if we look at uh, <clears throat> at gold on the weekly. We can see that uh, we are supported around uh, 1,303 and 1,313. Between 1,303 and 1,313, that's where we can uh, expect to buy <coughs> gold. If it, well, I mean, let's see if it gives us a positive, uh, I mean, a reversal signal uh, around that area, 1,303 and 1,313. That's where one can maybe look to buy gold right now it looks like uh, there's no one uh, really winning the battle between the bears and the bulls because you see here i will mark these um I'll, let me have these dotted uh, we have these uh between these two dotted lines um every time the price tries to go up sellers come in it gets to the dotted line at the bottom buyers come in so uh it's 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 seesawing right there um at the moment uh, it's not really uh, making any meaningful moves uh, at the top we have our support sorry resistance around uh, 1350 and 1360 that's our immediate resistance every time it gets between 1359 and 1350 that's where you can look to sell gold if you get a positive signal that tells you to sell now let's move uh, <clears throat> down to our short short term time frame you see our short term time frame uh, the price came down to this um, blue horizontal line there let me make it a little bit thicker at the bottom this is our support at the bottom it came right down to that line it hit that line and started moving higher <clears throat> It started moving higher uh, it is within the buying zone here the only issue that i have with gold at the moment is that uh, we are still trading below our moving average although we are within our support zone i would be happy to see gold uh, crossing above the moving average and closing there then that way i can actually go in and buy our 10 simple moving average is at uh, 1316 so if we can get a close above 1317 that would make sense for one to go in and take a long maybe uh, eyeing or looking at um 1350 1360 which is our resistance uh, look that as you take profit at the top there so that's the main thing that one is actually supposed to be uh, i mean uh, to supposed to be on a lookout for uh, that uh, I mean uh, that that um, that area at the top, uh, that area at the top. I, I don't know. Do you guys understand how we got to this um, support and resistance on gold, uh, where our support is and where our resistance is on gold? Do you guys understand how we got to that one? Is there anyone who does not understand how we got our support here, or who is not happy uh, with what? Uh, who's, who's, not, who's not happy? Is there anyone? Uh, 
okay. Okay, 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 Liam. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't know what you mean. I come and go, uh, Dirk. You mean that I'm breaking up? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it a bad connection? What is it? Uh, I'm very sorry about that. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I don't know why that happens. I'm very sorry. Fidelis connection is fine from your end. Okay. Okay, perfect. Edith, uh, you're saying that you're not confidently sure of what I'm explaining. Uh, she understands that joining low is giving me support line. Joining high, not sure, draw the lines. Okay. You, 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 are, you are struggling with the sound. Okay, look. <clears throat> okay. Okay, uh, for your benefit, Lian. For your benefit, Lian, I am uh, going to go back to uh, the basics. I'll try and explain this to you quickly. Uh, this red line here is our moving average, and every time this red line, let me remove it. The red line is, has been taken off, and I'm going to overlay it again. This is how you get it. You go to your to your you, you right click on your chart. You go to your indicators. You choose add indicator, and you go to simple moving average. You go OK there, and you come to period of simple moving average. The default is one. Move it up to ten, and go OK. Uh, I'll try and make it thicker. To make it thicker, you go to line properties. Line properties, it is now uh, this thick red line. Every time you see your your monthly time frame above your uh, simple moving average, it means that the stock, uh, the stock or the instruments are likely to move higher. So what you should do there, you should always try to look for uh, buy opportunities in such instances um, when it is above this red line. When it is below the red line, it means uh, the market is likely to decline even further. But sometimes, because of support, the markets get contained and the market starts picking up from there. So it doesn't always mean that when you are below the moving average, uh, the price is going to go down. But in most cases, that's what happened. That's what happens. Like um, here, check what happened in 2013. 2013, the month. Uh, at the end of the month, uh, the price was below the moving average, and um, the price started declining immediately after that. And uh, it was below its moving average until beginning of 2016. Beginning of 2016, the price started um, moving up, but I mean, we had some resistance. You see this area where we have our horizontal lines. Every time the price gets there, I do not really expect. The price to just um, go through that area without um, any issues because I mean that area of resistance has been there since 2014. So every time the gold price gets to 1,360 to 1,400, there is uh, some people there that are trying to push the price. Uh, that are trying to push the, uh, the price lower. So uh, every time you see the price maybe going below the moving average, like right now, we are above the moving average. Right now, we are above the moving average. So 
every time when we hit support we should look to go in and take some long positions uh, on gold because uh, that's that, that's positive it means that the market is trading above the moving average it's hitting support around those support areas we should look to go in and buy that's what it means uh, so to those of you guys that are joining us for the first time do you understand what i'm what i'm trying to explain here uh, with regards to the moving average relative to the price do you understand that part if you want me to go back and explain it i will go back and explain it if you don't understand it Okay, so that's the first thing we look at. When the price is above your moving average, it means that that price is likely to move higher. So you must position yourself for long positions. Okay, so right now gold is trading above its um, moving average. It just came down there to 1,303 and uh, buyers came in pushing the price up. So I do not really see the price of gold uh, sinking yet. I don't see it sinking yet, so we just have to be patient there, wait for the price to do its own thing. I think very soon we're going to be back at uh, 1,350 if um, if uh, things in the States um, do not change the situation, like the interest rate hikes, uh, because I mean that's the main thing that people are looking at now. Now let us go back uh to uh the weekly chart i want to show you how i draw these lines that i draw uh this is what i always say guys i say each and every turning point that you see on your chart you must know that it's important and it's there for a reason each and every turning point that you see is there for a reason so here i'm using a dotted <clears throat> a dotted line chart Everywhere where you see a dotted line, you must know that that area is important. You must know that that area is important. Uh, in this case, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to expand this. You see here, this is a dotted line. This is a dotted line here, dotted line here. So we put a horizontal line here at the top marking our resistance. And uh, this dot, the, we have we had a turning point here, and uh, we have a dot. And this happened back in 2017 September. It happened in September 2017. No, this was November. No, September October. It was in October. Uh, October we had that, and we marked that area. So, uh, what, what we what, why we are doing this? We are doing this because these areas are important that's what the smart money or the guys that are experienced or professional traders are looking at they are looking at those levels and each time the market gets there they know that they need to go in and buy that market each time it gets there they need to go in and buy the market so you just need to mark those levels and uh, here uh, we mark this one but i mean i pulled it down because of the daily but i mean you can always like move it up there you see i'm marking this um turning point here and uh, this turning point here also is marked you can also mark these but i mean uh, i have one just above uh these two I have, I have a line just above these two so i don't think that is important that i mark it and i also have another line here uh sorry another turning point here so there is no need so uh every time it gets to these lines something happens uh, it's either buyers come in and push the price higher or sellers come in and push the price lower. So uh, that is how you draw your support and resistance line. Let me show you. Let me let me show you maybe using uh, let me see. Let me show you maybe using uh, <clears throat> my trend line here. Okay, let's do this.
and now this is what I expect to see this market doing I expect to see this market going back up there if that doesn't happen this is what we could see. Let me show you. This is what we could see. From where the market is, we could see maybe the market breaking down below this point here. So we could see the market breaking down this point here. Let me mark this red. We could see we could see this market coming uh, down below. Okay. okay this needs to be, sorry. Okay, this needs to be, okay. Uh, if, if it fails, uh, then it's going to go below this point here, which is 1,300. And uh, there, I think there will be more selling pressure on gold. But at the moment, at, at the moment, uh, this is the pattern we are looking at. We are stuck within this range. Every time the price uh, goes up, when it gets there, they sell it. it comes down here, 1,300, they buy it, they push it up to 1,000. 1360 1360 it comes back down to 1300 uh, it's been doing this game since um since uh, the beginning of 2018 so uh we don't know what's going to happen so waiting for it to uh, i mean bounce off uh, our support that we have here at the bottom around 1305 1313 to go back up to 1350 1360 Guys, is this difficult to understand? Uh, would you like me maybe to try and simplify it? I think it's simplified already. Uh, do you understand what I'm what, what 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 I'm trying to explain here with regards to your support and resistance? Yeah, you must practice drawing these uh, trend lines and uh, you can actually use them as turning points that every time the market gets to where these uh, two lines connect, you know that maybe that's where the market is likely to come down, like here. It connected here, connected here, connected there. Well, I disregarded this one, but I mean, you could actually... I use this one also and price come um, and came down there to 1305 1310 that zone oh when using the Kesa okay I'll show you how I get these lines uh, Lawrence let me show you how I get these lines you right click on your screen you go to drawing tools if you don't want to go to drawing tools, go to drawing tools and you go to trend and you go to line. This line here is the one that you use to draw uh, the slanting uh, lines. That's what that's the one that you use. If you want the horizontal line, you go there. If you want the vertical, you come here. If you want uh, the slanting line, you come here. You can actually make this a horizontal line, but I mean, it's always advisable to use the horizontal line instead of this line here. If you don't want to do that, you can just go to your screen. You see at the top there, it says show or hide your, draw, your, drawing, your drawing toolbar. Drawing toolbar is on your side. If you want to draw anything, you just go there. You put your cursor there. It shows you horizontal, vertical, line. So line is the one that you are using. Take your line and you draw it. If you want to highlight it, make it bigger. This is where you go. You you click you you, you put your cursor on the on the on the line you've just drawn, or you click on it and you put your line. You make it thicker. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys got that one. How I get those lines. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, now maybe let's look at another another currency pair where we or no, currency pair or or an instrument where we can find support and resistance. I think I have two uh, in my mind right now. I have two. Let us try and look for. Okay, let's look for Brent. Uh, Brent. Crude oil, let's look at it. Let's remove um just remove all these lines. Okay, uh what stands out? Uh what stands out to you guys here? Uh can you can you spot anything? What are we supposed to do here? Are we supposed to buy or sell a uh, brand crude? In fact, we got maybe a signal a while back. Uh what what should we have been doing on brand crude? We should have been buying brand crude. I agree with you, with you there, Edith. Why should we? Um, uh, why, 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 why we should have been doing that is because we are trading above our simple moving average. So we're supposed to have been buying or buyers of brand crude. Okay, I'll wait for Luke to finish uh, typing his message there, so it doesn't get left behind. Um, this is what okay well uh, we ha we haven't I haven't checked if they are really in agreement but I mean I I assume they are in agreement now let us go to our dotted um, line chart to mark those support and resistance levels we are only looking for turning points guys these things turning points turning points we want to mark those turning points so let us mark this turning point here we just marked it i want to make it uh, let's make this line thicker we have another turning point here we may still have to adjust these lines This dotted line <clears throat> is a turning point also, but I mean, I know that you cannot see it. You cannot see it. Okay, uh, at all these areas, the dotted uh, the dotted points, um, um, uh, more especially the turning points. But I mean, I've marked them all here at the top. They're important. They will show us uh, what the market is likely to do. So our main support on on Brent has been uh, has been 69. 69. We are connecting it with this point here. This was our <coughs> prior resistance uh, in 2015. 
And in 2017, we managed to break above that area. The market played around for two, three months around this area and it started moving up. And in, 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 in April, uh, the price tried to come down to uh, 66 or 67. Uh, it shot up and this month we are trading above that area. So to me, it looks like we are breaking up uh, to the upside. I think the next target on Brent crude, whew, I think it's going to be around uh, 85, 86 um, US dollars per barrel. I think the price of uh, US dollars, is go sorry, the price of Brent is going to weaken over the next um, couple of uh, weeks or months uh, up to 86 uh, US dollars uh, per barrel. So that's not good news to us, the South Africans. Now let's change this to the daily chart. Well, this, this is not going to mean much, but I mean, the first thing that I want us to look at, I want us to look at the moving average first. Check your moving average. The price is above your moving average. I understand that this is your resistance. It's important that you keep an eye on this area, that 74.87 or that 75 area. That area is very important. It will determine whether this market does break out or not. But I mean, there isn't much resistance there, to be quite honest. There isn't much. But I mean, that area is very important. But I mean, if you do this, this could have easily been a double top. There's something called a double top. I'll show you how that uh, thing looks. Uh, I mean, um, looks one day. I'll show you. We have a uh, possible double top formation there. If the price today closes above the dotted line there, the dotted line is at 75. 75 if we close above 75 today the price of brand crude is likely to continue moving higher so the levels i'm looking at i'm looking at that 85 86 area i think that's where the price of brand crude is likely to go to if you like your head and shoulders you could say that this is your left shoulder this is your head this is your left this is your right shoulder and uh, here somewhere we had the neckline around uh, 67, 68, 67, 60, 68, we had our neckline. And uh, when we break above this 75, we're going to go up here. But I mean, the actual target should be 66 and... Hmm. Well, let's call it 30. Mm -hmm. Let's see. 69 plus 30 should take us to 99 somewhere. So eventually the price of Brent crude, uh, if this is actually a head and shoulders pattern, uh, the price should actually go up to 99 uh, eventually. So Brent crude is the right stock to be looking at right now uh, if you are looking to buy uh, it is the it is the right stock to um sorry the right instrument to look at if you want to buy as long as you are still trading above your moving average you see here we are trading above our moving average we are above this 74 if we close above 75 today and you go long uh, on brand crude i think we are going to do well this is this area uh 70 uh, what is it 7480 uh or 74.8 i think is our support if we close above 74.80 and above 75 i think the price is going to move higher so we are not just using the moving average alone you are using the moving average in conjunction with your support and resistance areas and the other thing that you need to look at is when it started rising from um the 12th of uh, feb 2018 I'll show you what it did. Let me get you those um, <clears throat> those uh, those lines. It went up here. Came down. went up again ok 
came down. When it went up, there's there's another small okay okay let me mark it let me respect it mark it Okay. Well, I mean, the market was coming down here. It went up. It hit this. Um, you see this line here, 66.97 uh, or 67. It it went up. It hit that line. It started coming down. Uh, from this area, it bounced off. It went up. It went through this resistance. Through this resistance again, it got to 71. Or 70.50 there. Uh, sellers came in, they pushed the price down back to our previous, excuse me, back to this area which was our previous resistance. This area now became our support. It, it um, rested on this support here. It shot up above our resistance. It came back down to test this support here around 71. It shot up to our next area of resistance which is uh, 74 75 it came down to the support here at the top and it went out of um uh, that uh, resistance area uh, the market hasn't finished the session hasn't finished trading yet we are going to know for sure at the end of the trading session whether we close above this 75 area or not but the main thing to point out here is that this market has been making higher lows each time it moves up. See, it went up, came down, it formed this low here. We call this a low. From here, it rose, it went up to that resistance, and it came back down, it formed a higher low. Why do we say it's a higher low? When you compare this low here and this low that it made here, this low is higher than the previous low. So we call this a higher low. And this area here, we call it a. This is a, this this is a this is a. I mean, this is a, this is a high. The, our first high that we had, we came down and we had a higher high. So this market has been making higher highs. You see, this high here is lower than this is higher than this high here, and this uh, and this high here is lower than this high here, and this high here is lower than uh, this one here. So. Uh, each time it comes down, it leaves a higher low, and it moves up, higher low, it moves up, higher low, it moves up, and every time it goes up, it creates higher highs. So what does that mean? That means that that market is rising. That market is on a rise. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. Please tell me if you understand what I'm talking about here. Yes, both charts are in agreement, but for now, I'm showing you uh, higher highs, higher lows. I'm showing you every time the market goes up, uh, it creates a new, a new high. So that's important. That's an indication that that market is really in an uptrend. So if you are using that, you can actually make a lot of money. But just by following that, you can make a lot of money from the market. You can go back to this video on YouTube. Uh, you can go check this video on YouTube uh, or you can check it on Facebook. I'll be posting um, some of these videos there. Uh, you can uh, go back and have a look at it. And uh, later, maybe when you continue learning, this is going to make sense to you.
I understand that at the moment maybe it's not making a lot of sense because we are still new. And, and, and uh, okay, you are saying that when the mar yes higher highs indicating markets going up and lower lows when markets going down. Yes, Edith. Yes, that's what it means, and uh, that's what uh, the price of Brent crude has been doing over the past uh, couple of um, couple of months since the beginning of the year. Okay, now let's move on to another 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 currency. We'll we will now use the the, the currency pair. The currency pair that we're going to use is US dollar, Canadian dollar. We'll use US dollar, Canadian dollar. Or the, the US dollar against the Canadian dollar. That's what we are going to use now. Okay, let's remove all these lines that we have here. Let's remove them. We've taken off all our lines that we had there. Maybe let's just use the monthly chart for those turning points. We are looking for the turning points here. Okay, we want to mark all these turning points here that are important uh, around where the price is currently trading. We want to make sure that all those lines are marked. Let's get our horizontal line. We'll start here. Let's start here. This is another turning point. We'll put a line here. Another turning point. Line here, another turning point, and We are marking these turning points <clears throat> around where the price is currently trading. I've, I've marked all of them. Uh, we, we, maybe we're going to mark more on the daily. Let's check. No, I think we've marked them all, the ones that are important. The ones that are important, okay. It is, oh, you want to know how I remove the lines? Okay, it's fine, I'll show you. Everything is on right click, uh, it is. Anything that you want to do here is on right click. Right click, go to your drawing tools. At the bottom it says remove, remove all. You can re that's where you can remove all your lines. I help you with that, uh, Edith. You go, you right click, you go to drawing tools, then you go to the uh, you, you drawing tools, then you go down to your remove all. You go there, you remove all. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, no, that's perfect, it's fine, we will get there, we will get there, Edith, don't worry. Okay, <clears throat> so on, 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 uh, on, on, on this, uh, on this stock, let's go back to our monthly quickly to check how it's looking. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? We are supposed to be buying because we are trading above our moving average. So we are buying. 
Uh, this is on a buy every time it comes back. It's giving us an opportunity. To, uh, sorry, an opportunity to buy at a lower price. And now let's go back to our our daily. Check what the daily is giving us. You see, we got these lines from uh, the monthly time frame. Uh, I'm, well, I mean, I can try and perfect them maybe uh, on the daily, but I mean, uh, I'd rather not. Let's just focus on what's happening here. We're gonna move maybe to our um, lower time frame. You see, you see, you see, here we are above the moving average. It tried to come below the moving average a couple of times, but it fails every time it gets to this uh, one one point two eight two four eight. Buyers come in and push the price up. Right now, uh, we are in this zone here. If you check, the price hasn't actually closed above this area. Every time it gets to this area, you find these long tails or these long weeks uh, around this area. These long weeks indicate that there is a lot of selling uh, on this particular currency pair around uh, 1.28800. Every time the market get the market gets there, people come in and push the market uh, lower. It's because of uh, let me check if I can. I can I can even push it down a bit here at the top. Uh, it's because of that uh, resistance line that we have at uh, 1.29200. 1.29200 we have some resistance and at the bottom here 1.28250 we also have resistance and in the middle here uh, we have uh, this horizontal uh, line here uh, that keeps preventing the price from moving higher let me mark it as a dotted line uh, well i mean it's a dotted line blue dotted line around there you must be vigilant when trading uh, the us dollar canadian dollar uh, buyers could come in um, any moment and try and push the price lower. But I mean, the dollar has been very strong. I've just been trading sideways for 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 uh, how long? For two months, I think. Now let's move down to a lower time frame. I now want us to have a look at this using the hourly time frame or the hourly chart. The hourly chart looks a little bit nicer. Uh, now let's do this. Let's let's make it a line chart. I want us to mark the turning points on this one using the line chart. This different color is uh, the hourly, our as uh, hourly uh, turning points. Hourly turning points. <clears throat> so if you are trading this, you are now using the hour, one hourly. You're trying now to time your entry. You should do. Oh, I don't know. We're now trying to time your entry that every time the price gets here to 1.28900 you you would want to maybe go in and sell uh, the US dollar against the Canadian dollar every time it comes down to 1.28200 you want to uh, buy the US dollar against the Canadian dollar uh, it's done this how many times 1 2 3 4 5 each time it gets to this line, you go in and buy and sell, you make money. Each time it comes uh, up here, you go in and you sell, and uh, that's how you will, um, I mean, make your money when timing this market. Each time it comes down at the bottom here, around 1.28, 191, or 1.28, 200, that's when you can look to go in and take a long. Does this make sense to you guys? We are range bound here. Uh, we've been uh, trading like this since the 24th or the 25th uh, of uh, April, and the market is still stuck. And the market is still stuck uh, within uh, that range.
It's just understanding these support and resistance levels. Once you understand those, you know exactly where you go in and buy that market and when to get out when you don't really have to buy that market. Does this make sense, guys? Are you getting it or not? <clears throat> okay, now let's use uh let's use the um, the pound Australian dollar. Let's use the pound Australian dollar. Pound Australian dollar, pound Australian dollar. GBPAUD. GBPAUD. Let us try and look for. <laughs> Catching up your line was bad. I don't know. What do you mean there, uh, Portia? What do you mean that it was bad? Okay, now let's go to the monthly. Can I get 15 years? Let me see if I can get 15 years. No, I can't get 15 years. I'm only limited to one month. That's fine. Let's use our dotted lines. Uh, let us now try and mark our <coughs> our resistance here. Our resistance here is here. This is our resistance. Around this turning point, 1.845508 on the pound Australian dollar. That's where we can look to short this market. This is another trend line that you're going to draw, and the market is, is around that line right now. This is our support. Um, <clears throat> I think this is our main support here, around uh, 1.78 or 1.777. Let's check if there's anything we left out on the okay okay before i do that before i do that let's go back to the monthly still let's go back okay uh you see the the gb the pound against the australian dollar is on a buy signal the first buy signal that we got uh in in september 20 in September 2017, if we disregard this one, September 2017, that's uh, the that's the buy signal that we got. We're still on that buy signal because we are trading above our moving average. Let's check how our weekly looks. Okay, the only concern I have with this one is that we are trading below the moving average. Last week, Friday, we closed below the moving average uh, for the first time in so many weeks. So we are below the moving average. Uh, so uh, let's see what happens. But I mean, we are supported uh, by this uh, nice blue line uh, just at the bottom here. I hope, this, I hope that this line contains the price. And if it does, we're going to see the price maybe bouncing back up to uh, 1.1682 1, uh, there at the top. Okay, let's check. Okay. Mm. 
you see these points here this is our this is where our resistance is here we may have to adjust this line a bit maybe down here but i'm not going to do that maybe that would be cheating i won't do that i'm just going to draw another horizontal line here and have it as a dotted line you see the market came here between uh, these two lines that the well i mean the solid blue line and the dotted blue line and the market turned there remember on the monthly we are trading above our horizontal sorry our simple moving average on the daily we've just bounced off our resistance uh, if this is going to be <clears throat> sustainable or not right now no one has any idea but i mean if we get a close above this if we get a close above this there's a good chance that um tomorrow we're going to have a follow through and our next resistance is right back on this line here let me make it a little bit thicker it's right back at that uh, thick blue line before the breakdown happened let me show you uh, the picture that we were looking at on this one maybe some of you has picked that one up already i don't know but let me check what Ed edith had to say there city suggests we compare one month day to see agreement today we are going one week one hour and which one of the periods you need to consider okay uh concentrate on the monthly and uh, the weekly oh, sorry concentrate on the monthly and the daily see if they are in agreement but it's important to check your your weekly also to check what it's saying and to time your entry you see the lines that we are drawing i will change this to maybe to an hourly time frame now now the lines that we are drawing here they apply to the hourly charts also so you must check what the hourly uh, does uh, the hourly time frame does when it gets to the line uh, it's important that you do that i will show you now what i'm talking about okay this area here was our resistance and uh, check what the price did when it got here it went up to that uh, resistance that we have there at the top and it came down came down here to our support because i mean the, remember that area was our support and it became was our resistance and it became support when we broke above it it went up to the top there came down but it didn't get to our support area so i'll use this one came down here oh we can we can do this it failed to get to the bottom of our um, of our range it went up came down it went up to the top of that range came down <clears throat> let me show you what people were expecting or what we were expecting we were expecting that the market was going to do this but it did not happen instead the market did what it broke below and went down to our next support area Okay, 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 okay.
we were trading within this area the market went above our resistance it went up it hit um, this uh, horizontal line that we drew here uh, our our resistance it came back down it went up to resistance came back it didn't quite get to our i mean the bottom of the range it went up to the to the top of the range which is resistance it came down to the bottom it went up again resistance came down tried to go up one bounce no follow through negative below the below uh, the, uh, the the support line and we had a move down back to our next area of support we are now in this next area of support i think that the market is going to bounce off the support area maybe move back up to this resistance area because i mean once the level gets broken it becomes resistance so this level here I expect to see a little bit of selling around this area, more especially because we are trading below our moving average here. So we may get uh, some sellers coming in and pushing the price lower. <laughs> no, it is. I'm sorry. We cannot do that. You need to do that. This is why we are doing this training so that you can go and check your lines you must do that that's the only way you're going to learn you cannot be spoon fed on this you need to get your hands dirty that is why i'm showing you these tricks so that you can uh, do your own analysis now let's go down to a, a lower time frame uh we're going down to our lower time frame now uh, let me see if we are going to get the Okay, lower time frame, you see, okay, 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 okay. Let me start from, okay. Okay, this is our resistance line there at the top. I want to show you what happens. You see, uh, the hourly, it went up there, it hit there, and it started coming down. So this was an early warning to someone who knows that there is a range already or who knows that there is resistance there that one is supposed to go in now and sell and there was and the next candle at four was negative you could have even used this one to go in and take a shot and the price went down but i mean it didn't it didn't get to our support at the bottom it went up it got up there again we had those tails there we broke below our moving average on the on the hourly and the price started declining and the price started declining each time it, it went up there it declined coming back down to this area here and this time it failed it went down it hit the support let's check what it did when it hit the support it hit the support we had some uh, some 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 some, uh, some reversal pins there we closed above the moving average and the price started moving up i understand that on the daily it's saying that uh, we are still selling but i mean let's check what's going to happen next uh, it's possible that the price is going to go back up there if, when it gets there i expect to i mean find uh, some sellers around this area here i expect some sellers to come back in and push the price lower that's if the price manages to close above this support that we have around 1.79 800 Yes, uh, it is, it's important that you do all the periods and compare, see what those periods tell you. Uh, you, you. You do that, you actually do that over the weekend. You do that over the weekend. You don't do it while the market is open. You wait for the market maybe to open on Saturday or Sunday uh, during the day. You just go in and have a look at your technical analysis, mark those levels. You know that when the market gets to a particular level, you know what to expect so uh that's what uh, that's what you must do uh, that is why we bounced off this area here if you had done your homework here you'd know that as soon as the market um bounces off this area maybe you can go in and take a long even though on the monthly and even though on the daily it's still saying sell that is why i said that you must always uh, use your uh, moving averages and your support levels uh, together do not just use the simple moving average alone that way you will never win in the market you lose all the time and uh, say that uh, the trade ideas that you get given are wrong 
whereas maybe it's you that is not doing your complete analysis in the market. Guys, I think I've overloaded you with a, a lot of information and a couple of guys have left uh, the session already. I think it's not easy, but it's doable, guys. Uh, I need you guys to focus on this. This is what I was talking about when I said that you must you must read up on uh, support and resistance. Uh, this is the stuff that I expected you guys to to get. Okay, guys, I see you're busy typing some messages there. I'll wait for you to finish typing those messages. Let's focus on the same stuff that we were looking at today. Focus on the same stuff we're looking at today. Focus on your monthly, yearly. Uh, try and get those turning points. Uh, if you can maybe uh, have a look maybe at a, a few current repairs or commodities or even uh, CFDs, have a look at them. Uh, use your monthly or your weekly turning points, mark them, and check what, what uh, those shares uh, do on the daily time frame uh, around those levels that you do, that um, yeah, you drew. Check what they do. Uh, that way you will be able to learn exactly how this market behaves around uh, certain areas. Yes, I want to, I want you guys to focus more on drawing these lines, uh, getting your support and resistance and also understanding um, the main direction of the market and deciding uh, on uh, the decision or on the side to trade uh, in this market. Uh, guys, I think we've covered enough for the day. Uh, let us uh, meet again tomorrow. Please go through this. I'm going to save this uh, now on YouTube. If you want to go back and uh, have a look at it, you are welcome to do so. I'll uh, take it to Facebook also. Um, you get it on Facebook. The only issue with Facebook is that uh, I don't know whether some of them um, need to be edited or what, because I mean, there are gaps where we are just silent, maybe uh, doing uh, support and uh, resistance and drawing those trend lines. And when I'm waiting for you guys to finish typing your messages, but I mean, yeah, we'll see what to do going forward. Guys, thank you so much. Um, let's meet again tomorrow. If anyone did not understand anything here, you are welcome to send me an email. My email is sita at quicktrade.co.za. That's my email address. Guys, thank you so much. Please go and practice. It's going to, you're going to enjoy it once you get it right. You're going to enjoy it. Cheers, guys.